Studio. Breaking news. I want every member right now that belongs to Global Destiny, I want you to stand up right now. Everybody else, I want you to sit down. If you are actively a member of Global Destiny right now, I want you to stand up. Don't be scared, I ain't going to... Every member, I want you to come down here for a second. Every member that's active member of Global Destiny right now. down here. It's here. <clears throat> every, every member that's a global member of Global Destiny right now, if you're attending there right now, come down. The thing that I believe that God most loves about me, if he loves anything, is because I'm willing to be right in his presence, no matter what it takes. Every person that was a member of Global Destiny, stand up. The last time that I was in Global Destiny, I had this white robe on and I, I was supposed to preach. And when I went on this fast and I began to ask the Lord and began to seek him, he spoke to me and he told me, Sister Lynn, he said, your white robe is a sacred garment and it is a statue and a pillar before God's people. And just like the Pope, he can't do just anything in his robe. And the last time I stood in Global Destiny, I stood in Global Destiny with this robe on and I broke down in my emotions. And I expressed the feelings of my flesh in a sacred garment. And God said, I broke a spiritual law. And he said, for that, I had to openly repent. Because God gave me a place to take my emotions. He gave me a place to take my emotions. He called me a woman of prayer. He called me to prayer. And I went through a season. I went through a season when I lost my prayer room that I refused. And I was angry. And I went into rebellion. And I'm the kind of person I have to live in prayer. I can't just visit a prayer room every now and then. I have to. That's how I survive. I'm a different person when I'm praying. And I begin to let my emotions take me over. And for that, I offended the body of Christ. For that, I offended you. And the Spirit of the Lord told me, that I had to openly repent. And I want you to know today that I'm sorry. I wronged you in the spirit. I wronged you in the spirit. I wronged you in the spirit. I had, I had no right as a spiritual mother to show you my weakness because I was supposed to be your strength. And God has forgiven me. He forgave me before I even got up here. The Lord forgave me. He did. And he spoke that to me. And I, 
in my heart, I don't have any, any shame. When there was something a, year, a couple years ago that happened with me and Bishop Jakes, I didn't do anything wrong. But God said what he was trying to teach me is how to be a daughter. And because he was teaching me, because I'm to learn of him. I'm to take the yoke and learn of him. Then it was my responsibility to learn how to be a daughter. So for that, I had to stand in front of 50,000 people and repent for the tear in the body of Christ. And I don't, I'm going to be saved if I don't be nothing. If I don't preach, if I don't pray, if I don't prophesy, I'm going to be saved. I'm going to be saved. And anybody that you see, anybody that you run into, anybody that you talk to, you tell them I said I'm sorry. I was wrong. And God has dealt with me. And he convicted me to I couldn't sleep. Because who I am and who I have been for 25 years has been this person right here. He's called me to be this first and foremost. I was born to do this. I was born to be an intercessor. I was born to be a prayer warrior. Thank you, Jesus. I was born to be strength to the body of Christ. I was born to be a voice to the nations. And so I say to everybody that's standing to please forgive me. Sister Renee, take this back to global destiny as my garment of forgiveness. My garment of forgiveness. My garment of forgiveness. Somebody bless the Lord. Somebody bless the Lord. Somebody bless the Lord. Father, if what I did scattered the flock, Lord, bring them back. Bring them back, Lord. Bring them back if I can't come back. Bring them back. In Jesus' mighty name. And let the people of God say amen. Amen. This is a time right here that I would raise a seed offering for prayer. But I'm offering myself on the table today as a sacrifice. I am the offering. Thank you, Jesus. to say openly that there isn't anything else that I need to repent for openly if it was I would say it I wouldn't stand here in a moment of repentance and not repent for something that I did I would not do it right now I would repent if I did anything else wrong in this situation, I would repent right now. God bless you until next week. You'll go with God and God will go with you. <laughs>